Hello Second Lifers! Welcome to the second tutorial for beginners in Second Life. Today we are going to learn how to use the built-in AO in Firestorm Viewer so you use less space on your screen, less scripts, and less scripts means less lag for everyone. If you are super new to Second Life, then what is an AO? An AO is an animation overwriter and we don't give a shit about what that really means but what it is for and how to use it so an ao hide has animations that allows you to walk run jump dance sit on objects sit on ground fly up and down typing swimming float turn left and right and so many more and not make you look so robotic for example if you don't have a typing animation you'll look like this when you type or walking without an animation your avatar will look like this or running like this and so forth with the animations you have a variety of them to choose from and you can find them in stores in world and of course marketplace that will make you look much better more human like or as close to human movement as possible so right now i am at a animation store and i'm walking funny <laughs> so we're gonna go look at some stands right now that we're gonna buy this place right here i've loved it for years because it's very inexpensive it's 20 lindens per animation so at the top of this board you can say that it says stand a stand animation that i'm using right now you can use the arrows to scroll through them until you find one that you like or you know what let's try this one here next to her this is a walking animation oh i like it it's cute i'm gonna pay 20 lindens let's look at standing animations so you're gonna want to scroll until you find standing animations there we go one all right this one's pretty cute i'm gonna buy this one and let's find a running animation before i do find a running animation i do want to show you like all of these other animations that we were talking about like sitting on the floor here's some um if you go to a beach or something and you just want to sit down on the floor and the ground like that or so and so forth laying animations and all that this is turning left so that's actually pretty cute so i'm gonna by the oh the turning right and i'm gonna look for turning left which is this one so i'll buy this one too and now let's continue running animation all right let me do this one okay we're back in my house you can now also see my cursor because i'm going to be pointing at some uh things for the tutorial and at the bottom you can also see my toolbar buttons down here one of them which is going to be the AO button that you're gonna need everyone has them in their viewer Firestorm viewer so when I click on that you're going to be getting a box that opens like so and you can already see my personal AO that I have now but we're gonna be making a new one you don't have to do the steps since you don't have any AOs but now at least you know that you can do as many AOs as you want from kawaii to spicy with sensual things one with nothing but dances and so forth it just gives you an idea so how you want to do that is you want to click on this little plus sign create a new animation set and name it i'm going to name it tutorial ao click ok and it's going to take a few seconds to configure once it does because i'm still wearing this one uh, i'm going to click on this arrow down on the menu you'll see tutorial ao and i'm going to activate that one by clicking on the arrow sign the default button means that if you click on it and you have more than uh, one AO, it'll make this one your default anytime that you log on. Override sits is going to override your animations from your sofas or your chairs or anywhere that has sitting animation. So you want to click on that one if you want that to happen and use the ones that you bought for your AO. The Be Smart is a smart mode tries to determine if the sit override would clash with the object's own animation and disables the overrider temporarily, which is kind of cool. So you can click on that. But I don't like to overwrite the other sitting animations from um, sofas and stuff. I actually like to use those. Uh, disable stands in mouse look pretty self-explanatory when you click on this one. It's just going to disable your stance when you're in mouse look like so. See. Um, and it'll make you stand like a noob 
I don't disable that. Going forward, this is the fun part. If you see here, it's the standing animations that's being selected. But if you click on it, you'll see all of the animations that you can add to your uh, animation overrider. So you want to go into your inventory. I added mine in a folder for faster access. So what we're going to do is start with standing animations. So you see this box here is completely empty. You want to go and look for your stand animation. Left click it, hold it down and drag it into the box. And once you let go, it's going to configure it. Voila, you can already see it working even though it was configuring and it's activated. You can add quite a few standing animations here so they can cycle through and so forth, but we're just gonna do um, one right now so I can show you the rest. Another one is going to be running and it's going to configure and take a few seconds. And you're gonna wanna do that the exact same thing for every single animation that you buy. So I'm gonna go do that on my own now and then I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, now that you have your AO set up, you can test it out. So you have the AO button down here with the check mark. Check mark basically means turning it off or on. So when you uncheck it, your AO turns off. So now you're seeing like a new avatar. So want to turn it back on, click on it, make sure it's check marked and it's on. Now you have your standing animation. Now you're walking like a normal avatar and running like a normal avatar. So I highly suggest you look at the list of the things that you can put in there, like swimming and stuff like that, so you can buy those individually as well. I'm gonna be leaving landmarks in the description box where you guys can go check out some animation stores and you can buy your own. All right, guys, I think this is it for me. Hopefully this was very helpful for someone or some of you out there. Don't forget to share it as well for those that might need this type of uh, help. And I will be bringing a lot more tutorials for newcomers and then just a little extra extra for old timers so don't forget to click that like button and subscribe for what's coming up i'll talk to you guys later have a great week bye bye